Hey everyone, it's Marco here from MyColorScreen.com bringing you the latest and greatest Android home screen tutorials. This is part two of the Mirup Web 2 home screen by Alta Vista. If you don't know what the first world well, of the home screen looks like, this is what it looks like. So if you want to know how to recreate this, check the previous video or the link over here and we'll show you exactly how to recreate this home screen. But now we're worried about the lock screen, which looks like this. It looks really cool. It's got sign into your account. And the great thing about it is that all of this is editable. So let us begin with this video tutorial for this lock screen. So starting out, you're going to be using the app called Widget Locker. It's a great app. It's fantastic for this very purpose. And we're going to see why. Alrighty, so whatever your lock screen looks like, if it's got any widgets, you want to drag it into the X below. You just want to have a blank lock screen looking like this. Next, what you want to do, you want to tap this little settings icon here, as this is where you'll be able to edit everything that you need to. From here, you want to go into your look and feel, and you want to select, you want alternate wallpaper to be selected. So from here, you can say select wallpaper and then choose a different wallpaper. From here, we're going to go into our quick pick, or you're welcome to use your gallery if you want. And then from here, you want to find, you want to find that lock screen wallpaper that you've copied onto your phone. You want to select it. What's great is that it'll work for pretty much any phone as, as you can see, you can move it up, up or down. Doesn't really matter where it is, but as long as that's more or less in the middle, you want to select save. It's going to set that image for you and you don't have to worry. Your background tint, I like to push it up all the way as brighter, always looks better. Might use a bit more battery, but hey, looks really cool. For your layout, you want to drag this anchor all the way to the bottom, if it's like that. And I went for an 11 by eight, Grid size, it worked really well for me. And you might have to change it slightly to make it work good for you. So, selecting save like that. You want to hide the notification bar at the top as you don't want that to be shown. And you want to deselect label shortcuts as you don't need to see any shortcuts to be labeled. From here, you want to go back. And then that's pretty much it for all the background setup. Go back again. This is what your wallpaper should be looking like. So now you can start with adding in your minimalistic text widgets. Great, so for these minimalistic text widgets, if you're familiar with using the, well, the previous home screen, this will be very easy for you to do. Just simply hold down on the home screen, select your widgets. You want to go into your minimalistic text. Now you want a large horizontal one for the top. So I think a six by, word, six by one worked pretty well. Just want to go back now. Remember, it's not too important as it can always be resized. From here, you want to select the top here. The little option menu here and you want to select import so from here we're going to go be going in with sign in say yes do it and then select save now there it is set up looks really cool you can hold down select resize to make it all resized but that's pretty much it now it looks really good but what if you don't want it to say that well the good thing about minimalistic text is that you can edit all of these words so selecting it will bring up all your editors here but we're more, important, more worried about the layout over here as here has our two static texts that can be edited. So to edit it, it's very simple to do. Just simply tap on it and as you can see, that's it's just a simple static text that has been entered in here and you're welcome to rename it to whatever you want. Once you've got it the way you have, just select OK and it'll re-edit it for you. It's a little bit hard to see at the bottom here. So again, you want to do it for the bottom, say whatever you want and then select OK again. You're welcome, to change any, you're welcome to change any of the sizes as well to make it look really good on your phone. From here, you want to select Save and it'll customize it for you like that. Next, you'll be moving on to the username one here. So you just need to hold down again, select Widgets again, and you want to select Minimalistic Text again. From here, a three by one worked, for, worked pretty well for me, but you're welcome to go for say a four by one, whatever suits you best. So remember just to go back again, Menu, Import, and you want to go for the Mirab Web 2 username and yes, do it. So it's going to load them all up. You want to select Save, and there it is. You just need to hold down, select Resize, and get it into the position you want. Remember, if you don't like it, just need to select it. Scroll to across to Layout, select the text. I've added in some spaces there just so it aligns with the password beneath it. And you just want to go OK, and it'll set it for you. So you just need to go save again and there it'll be set up. So you can rename it to username to whatever you want. Now, if you want to edit anything else, PSDs have been provided so you can edit them on Photoshop and make it look however you want it. I just got this so you can change this text and that text just so it is slightly more customized. 
Next, what you wanna do, you wanna add in the custom slider. So just when you tap that, it'll unlock your phone. Real easy to do. You just need to hold down on this area here. Remember, it has to be on that blue area just so you don't lose your custom slider. You're gonna select custom slider now. Now, this is a real cool, easy process to do. So to make that blank login screen, you're just gonna swipe across like that, select disabled. Select this music one over here, or the sound one, swipe across to the left, and then select disabled. Now, select the middle one, and you want your widget locker actions, you wanna select that, and you wanna select unlock, because that middle one's gonna be unlocked. So from here, you wanna change that icon, you don't want that unlock icon, so you wanna select that, you wanna select, you know, select your icon, select your gallery, and select your quick pick or your gallery, whichever one you wish or prefer. Next, you wanna find that blank PNG, so remember to copy that onto your phone, select it, shouldn't look like anything, so you're just gonna select the tick, and there will be disappeared where from now you want to select done. There it'll be configured for you. To double check, you want to hold down on it, select resize. You can make it pretty much like that. That's good size. So if you want to double check that it works, to select it and it should unlock your phone. Hopefully it will. If not, you're gonna to have to resize it a bit, get it into a good position. Now for the cool part is that if you just want to have even less widgets on your lock screen, what you want to do now is just to simply lock your phone like that and you want to take a screenshot of your lock screen so this for nexus 4 you hold down your volume button and your lock button i guess and it'll take a screenshot of that now why did you do that well if you go back into your widget locker here and you go back into your settings and then you go into your look and feel and go back into your wallpaper now you're going to be changing your wallpaper to yes that's right to that screenshot that you've just taken because now, when you select it, remember to, you want to take it up the whole size. Remember for Nexus 4, you want to get it as up as possible. You don't want to have that little bottom navigation bar. So you just want to select save. It's going to save that image for you because now you can get rid of one of the, the widgets. So you just need to select down. So now once you've removed them all into the bin, as you can see, all the widget, well, the only widget that you're going to be having is the unlock button like that. So very easy to set up let's see just double check it again by locking it very easy very minimal setup and remember if you want to have that lock device button over here you just need to hold down select shortcuts and then select a widget locker lock now button and then make it a blank png which i've done over there if you're a bit too not too sure how to do that remember we have the previous tutorial on how to set up this home screen so Thank you very much guys for watching. I hope you've enjoyed this lock screen tutorial. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. But as always, don't forget to subscribe, like or comment to our My Color Screen YouTube channel, as well as check out our Facebook, Google Plus and Twitter community. So this is Marco from My Color Screen. And as always, don't stop customizing.